Well, praise the Lord. Great to be with you here again today. The Lord, uh, Lord lead us uh, to a greater walk in you, in Jesus' name. The topic today is uh, walking as if you own it. Uh, you being joint heirs with Jesus uh, by his grace, own the heavens and the earth and all that dwell within. You know, he, he tells us that it were two will agree as touching anything in heaven or on earth. It shall be done for them, both in heaven and in earth. If you lose something in heaven, it'll be loosed on earth. And the same thing. Now, that's great power that you have. And that should give you understanding of who you are. When you are uh, uh, in him, uh, he in you, and he in you, uh, you also own these things, and they are subject to you. Therefore, learn to walk like you own it. Believe. Second Corinthians 5, 7. Walk, uh, for we walk by faith and not by sight. It is a simple verse, uh, yet, uh, yet do, we, uh, do we walk by faith? Most people look only at, uh, at what they see or think uh, is possible for them to do. They will pray, but they will, uh, uh, there will be no real uh, expectation of, uh, of it happening. Uh, do we have a little faith uh, in God? Uh, that we, uh, do we have such little faith in God that, uh, that we cannot uh, uh, see beyond the circumstances? Do we believe in the uh, in and and truly asking God uh, for miracles? And of course, uh, you know, if you're if you're going to truly ask some uh, for something, then you should need to truly believe, don't you? <coughs> uh, the way to walk in faith is uh, is to have total trust in the in the in the Lord Jesus to do what He said He will do. Don't count Him as a liar. Because that's what doubt is. Uh, that's because oh, you're a liar. You're not going to do it. You're calling him a liar. Uh, you must know who dwells in you. And who you are. Heirs to the throne of God. That's pretty awesome. That's who you are. Uh, is there anything too hard for God? No, not a thing. First Peter 5.5, 5, uh, likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elders. Yea, all of you uh, be subject one to another and, uh, and be clothed uh, with humility. For God resists the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Uh, humble yourselves, therefore, unto the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. See, he will exalt you. I mean, you don't have to. I mean, he will give you uh, more credit than, than you really deserve. But uh, he's okay with that. He loves you. He wants you to be uh, honored when you accomplish something. Casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober, uh, vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walks about seeking whom he may devour, whom resists steadfastly in faith, uh, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are uh, uh, are in the world. And that means uh, that everyone goes through trials. And, and some are different. Some are harder. Some are softer. But we all do it. But we count it all joy because we're learning. And that's how you learn. You can't learn if nothing ever happens. You're just repeating the same thing and, and never grow. And that's why the Lord allows that. But the God of all grace, uh, who hath called us unto uh, his eternal uh, glory by Jesus Christ, after that he hath uh, suffered a while, may, made you perfect, uh, established strength, and settled you. <coughs> That's what trials and temptations do. They, that's what they do for you. They build you up. To him be the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. You see uh, uh, here that the devil tries to harm you, uh, but when you uh, resist him uh, in faith, uh, God 
uh, in the short while will uh, bring you uh, into victory. But these kind of uh, 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 but these kind of designed to help you grow uh, in knowledge and faith. Uh, for when faith uh, has worked its perfect work in you, that then you have grown. In James two twenty two, you see how faith uh, wrought uh, with uh, with the uh, works with its work with the works. Uh, and uh, and by works uh, with faith uh, made perfect. When I was in the South, uh, many times I I just kept uh, I just needed help, just all alone except for the Lord. You never alone with Him. So I simply called on the Lord. Uh, these things uh, were were over over the ability of uh, uh, to do on my own. Uh, you know, if you don't understand something, it doesn't mean it's hard, but it means that you don't you don't know what to do with it. And so you call on the Lord, and He shows you how, and He gets you through it. I had just paid my bills, and maybe uh, three or four days had passed when I got a call from my bank, "Sir, you are about to, uh, we are about to close your account for non-sufficient funds." <laughs> What the heck are you talking about? I talked. Uh, I talked to them over the over and over. Uh, it made no sense to me. Yet their uh, their records showed me uh, way overdrawn, and all the checks were uh, they had sent back, and and of course uh, added uh, overdrafts charges. My faith in in Jesus uh, kicked in. Uh, they gave me uh, 20 minutes to get uh, get there, and. Uh, and that was all they were going to give me. That's all they were going to wait. I got in my truck. Uh, I just, uh, I just prayed, and I knew God would handle it. I had no, I had no doubt. But you know, uh, our, our, our faith without works is dead. It's, in other words, if you don't, if you, if your faith isn't tried, uh, you can say you have faith all the time, uh, but until it's tried. You don't really know where your faith stands. Uh, I got into my truck and started off. Uh, uh, I asked the Lord to, to go before me and heal the situation. And of course, I knew that he would because I asked him to. Uh, knowing he would, uh, for what, uh, <coughs> for that is what he said he would do uh, when, we, uh, when we cast our cares on him. Uh, turned on the radio, and, and God boosted my faith uh, even more. A tape was uh, in my player. Uh, that was one of eight track, or seven, or uh, cassette player, sorry. Uh, who is going to fight and who is going to win? Man, that was charging me up right away. A, a little about the God's Army. Uh, there were several uh, songs that I listened to. And I put the radio on a, on a on a man uh, uh, that was preaching uh, on on being strong in the Lord and faith uh, was a, was a big part of that message. I felt like God was charging me up uh, uh, after uh, four of those 15-minute sermons uh, uh, and songs. And yes, uh, uh, in that 20-minute trip that it took me to get downtown, I listened to four 15-minute trips and, and another three or four songs. And that's a, you know, a, a, see, God, a, a, he knows how to do it, and, and he'll hold time for you if, if that's what it is. He makes time. He created time. And he can certainly stretch it. He can put everything in that little, little area. It doesn't matter. Time, time is no barrier for the Lord. I was charged to, to hit the head, uh, hit that head on. My faith was even more confident uh, that the Lord would uh, give me the victory. As I arrived, I knew I was in charge. <clears throat> I might as well own the place, and in a sense, I did. When I hit the door of the office at the bank, a lady yelled over to me, "You can go home. You can go back home." <laughs> After all that, <laughs> it's uh, it's almost comical. But see, God will give you the victory. 
You see, the devil knows uh, who you are. Uh, we have it all taken care of. Uh, we will call all the people that the, the checks were written to and, and pick them all up. Let's see. I mean, <laughs> uh, see how God does? I mean, he, he's awesome. Only God and his power could, uh, could have done this. Uh, when we pray, uh, he expects us to believe it is it will happen. Do you expect things to happen when you pray, or, or are you uh, are you praying amiss? Does God never answer your prayers? <clears throat> when you are powered by the Holy Ghost who is in you, what can stand against you? In 1 John 4.4, 4, you are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. He says that in so many verses, and yet he doesn't seem to register. So that's what this is for today, to get you, ah. So that's what that means, to get you to look at it, think about it. When my daughter was run over by a car and lay dead in the road, I knew uh, uh, I knew who dwelled in me. I had no co no no doubt whatsoever. I had confidence. See, because I trust the Word of God. I never said, "Lord, why did you let this happen?" And of course, uh, she would still have been dead. Uh, no, what I did uh, was uh, uh, was talk to the Lord, telling him. Uh, I had given him, uh, 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 I had given her to him before. So when I prayed over her, uh, Jesus sent the word uh, through me and, and into her. As I prayed for uh, her restoration, her bones popped back together and the breath of life came into her. And Jesus blew the breath. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry, I get a little broke up each time I, uh, because of... Uh, <laughs> I mean, you had to be there. I mean, it was awesome. So uh, <clears throat> Jesus blew the uh, the breath of life back into her lungs, and, and she was alive again. Uh, we could not even find a bruise on her. The dress she was wearing, the tire tracks uh, on, on, on her dress, uh, but but on her, not a mark. The Word of God tells us this. In Hebrews 11:6, but without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder to those who diligently seek him. In James 2:18, uh, uh, yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I and I have works. Show me uh, faith uh, without works, and I will show thee uh, my faith by by my works. This is what happened. I showed my faith in him and he showed me his faith in me and my daughter lives again. And uh, and now is born again, also being fill, uh, been filled uh, with the Holy Spirit. Father, strengthen our faith that we may uh, walk in newness of life in favor, in your favor, standing on your words and doubting not in Jesus' name. So let us come boldly to the throne of God, uh, for we are heirs with Jesus Christ himself. <clears throat> Show God you believe he will. For there all uh, for there all things are under his, under your feet when you do believe his word. Now, if anyone has a need, uh, whatsoever that need is, let us ask. Uh, uh, let us walk to the throne of God, and uh, and if we, uh, if we're and, and as though we already have it, and receive in Jesus' name. So let us pray. Now, Father, we come to you now, Lord, oh God, with every need, whatever it is, oh God, if if they need a limb or if they need to uh, to grow one or Whatever, because if it will just believe, we will receive it, and you will send it as we pray. La cote es curanda la bossa de cate, lo condi cala condoro capa casa cate, 
Lokonda kala kala koroba kri kala kachi ketaka. Lokonde kato konda kasi kala komba kari taka tite. Konda kale kukur shikar kota daba kota bakata kate. Lokonda kale konjo kota shikara bako kake kete. In Jesus name. Well, <laughs> God bless you. And uh, thanks for letting me be a part of your life for a few minutes. And until next time.